A late goal from substitute Rizzo Merrill came to rescue as Barak FC Baron narrowly beat last year's runners-up for runners FC. Fourth, Nepi Tizama 1-0 in the second semi-final match played at the Guayama local ground. Rizzo Merrill came off the bench to score the only goal for Barak FC in the 83rd minute to help the team enter the final for of the tournament for the third year. Rizzo Mero came off the bench to score the only goal for Barak FC in the 83rd minute to help the team enter the final of the tournament for the third year. The thrilling encounter was equally poised but both teams failed to break the deadlock on the opportunities that came their way till the first half. Forerunners FC was paid for the lackluster game as talisman Kijose wasted numerous chances to find the back of the net in the first half. Goli Leketulio of Forerunners was put in action saving a stunning shot of Mayong Shing in the first half. In the second half, Barak team started vigorously but striker Kevi lacked the finishing as he failed to find the target on numerous occasions until Rizzo Mero came to rescue Barak with his goal in the 83rd minute. Goalkeeper Nganga Ziliang of Barak was put in action in the second half, saving a stunning long-range kick of Vekruto Resu in the second half. He made vital saves in the game to make sure the team entered the final with a clean sheet. With the win, Barak FC will face defending champions Nagaland Police Red in the final match on October 21st. Angami Students Union defeated Angami Youth Organization via tiebreaker 4-3 after the match ended in a 2-2 draw in an exhibition match played at the Koima local ground. In the match, AYO took the lead in the first half through a goal scored by Nidilutyo Nibu Seche and Zakusitio Natso gave Angami Students Union the double lead in the second half. However, Asu came back to the game when the captain Mego Ratsa delivered a superb long-range shot to pull back a goal. Sitio Mere then scored the equalizer in the last minute to end the match 2-2. Two two. During the penalty shootout, Angami Students Union came out victorious by 4-3. The 26-day long tournament is an annual feature of ASU since the late 1980s as a mark of respect and honor of late Kekujalie Sache of Koima village and late Vikoso Yoshi of Kigwema village. With Nzanda Mokuvung, APN Kohima.